good evening everybody and once again welcome back to the channel in today's video i want to show you if your raw data is partitioned for example a year a month and a day and then you have a bunch of files inside that again this is raw area which is partitioned by year month day so when you read data as a glue dynamic frame how do you read these partition as a columns meaning these year a value i want to have it as a column when i'm reading data uh, from this directory so this video focuses on that so without wasting any further time let's begin a simple hands on lab to teach you about this all right so hopefully you guys uh, see my screen uh, over here yeah so let me zoom in so again here you can see i have a root directory called zone is equal to raw and inside raw i have bunch of year month and a day my goal is when I'm reading data from this directory, from this root directory, I want to read uh, these partition value as a column. I want to have that as a column, right? So let's take a look at an example. To do that, uh, let me actually zoom in. All right. To, to do that, we need to import this particular uh, uh, function. So from PySpark SQL dot function, import input file name this will allow us to you know get the path right and now as you can see over here glue context dot create dynamic frame from option right and then i provide the path which is the raw zone again this is the raw zone path right format as json recursive to true this is going to read all the data from s3 as a glue dynamic frame i simply convert the glue dynamic frame into a spark data frame I create a temp view so I can write some SQL. And now here you can see how I'm extracting it, right? So here I'm saying input file name, it's a function. I am reading that this as file path. And then I use regular expression to extract the year, extract the month and extract the day. So now when I read the data from this directory over here, right? these uh, you know hive style partition will appear as a column okay in your data frame object so let me show you after that i just select all these three columns to show you so let me let me start my notebook over here so i'm gonna start this one and then let's wait for the spark uh, uh, session to be created okay now i'm gonna run that particular uh, code okay here so now it's reading the data from that S3. Again, JSON file, CSV, whatever, doesn't really matter. So here you can see, right, file path, right? He was able to get all the particular file path. And then using regular expression, we extracted the year, we extracted the month, and we extracted the day. That's all I have for the video, right? So this video shows you simple on how to extract uh, the partition, the high style partition uh, as uh, uh, a column when reading uh, data from S3, right? So hopefully made sense. Uh, this is useful when you have raw data and from raw, when you're building medallion architecture, let's say you're building a bronze layer, right? And in the bronze, you want to have the same partition as of raw, right? So in those scenarios, you, you would need to extract th this particular um, partition uh, value, right? So hopefully made sense. Again, it's a quick video. Uh, uh, I hope this video will help you guys. And if you have any further questions, list your question in the comment window below. And I'll leave this code snippets in the description. So in case if you want, you can check it out. That's all I have for the video. Keep smiling, keep programming, and I'll see you in the upcoming next video.